Well, the Mercer Bears want to be able to run the football and stop the run. And both of those things, they did pretty well here on Saturday afternoon at Five Star Stadium. A 38-3 win over VMI in what head coach Drew Chronic called easily the most complete game of the season for the Bears. For the first time this year, nearly 300 rushing yards on the ground and on the other side of the ball. A couple game-changing plays early in this one that set the tone. Two big sacks from Ken Stanley in the backfield, and then two turnovers as well. An interception from Lance Wise, and then a scoop fumble recovery from Richie Coffey. Just what the doctor ordered for the Bears to pull away with this one early. Oh, man. We haven't had one of those in a long time. You know, but it feels great. It feels great for us to get back to what we've been doing as a defense. And it feels great to know that the coaches are proud of us and happy that we've shown that we can still so our assert our dominance, I should say, against formidable opponents. Of course, you've also got to talk about the other two biggest playmakers for the Bears, receivers Devron Harper and Ty James. Harper, another great day, five catches for 60 yards and a touchdown, but James held to just one catch on the afternoon. Is that something Mercer's offense wants to change going forward? Absolutely. It's all of it. It's a confident quarterback. It's, you know, defense dictate more the ball goes sometimes, and then it's going to be just making plays. So. I think you add all those together and all of a sudden he'll end up with you know, seven or eight catches, which is what we'd like for him to, to be. I let Ty do his thing. Um, he's more of a, he just get in rhythm type guy. You know, like you come up to him, like, but he knows, like he knows if he's doing good or he not so good, but you don't know what you're going to get right now. Um, but I know it's going to be something good. As for what's next, the Bears hitting the road to East Tennessee State this Saturday at 3.30, a matchup that will have plenty of juice behind it. We'll tell you why coming up later tonight at 11. For now here in Macon, Connor Hines, 13 WMAZ Sports.